Hi there guys, how you doing? This is your friend and tutor Manus and in this video, I'm going to tell you how the sectioning of a hexagonal pyramid can be carried out with an AVP. That's what you call an auxiliary vertical plane. So let's see what the problem has in store. Here we go. It goes like this. A right regular hexagonal pyramid, side of base 25 mm and height 57 mm rests on its base on HP with one of its sides parallel to VP. A section plane perpendicular to HP and inclined to the VP at 30 degrees cuts the pyramid and passes at a distance of 7 mm from its axis. Draw its top view, sectional front view and true shape of the section. So whole lot of things have been given to us. So this object is a hexagonal pyramid. Dimensions are base edges 25 mm and height or the axis length is going to be 57. All okay. Now there is this condition that has been given to us that it is resting on the HP on its base with one side parallel to VP. Now guys, I want all of you to think, just think about this. Uh, there is a hexagonal pyramid resting with its base on HP. Now, from where you can see the true shape of the base. Okay, just think about this. Obviously the answer should be that it's true shape or the base's true shape can only be seen from the top and hence you have to begin by making the top view first. But there is this condition also with one side parallel to VP. So while making its top view, make sure that one side is kept parallel to XY line. And when you do so, you ensure that this condition reflects perfectly in your drawing. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and write something regarding this cutting plane detail. So it cuts the pyramid and passes at a distance of seven millimeters from the, its axis, making an angle of 30 degrees with VP. Now this cutting plane in fact is perpendicular to HP. So just think about this. If there is a cutting plane perpendicular to HP and when you're looking at that cutting plane from the top, it would appear as a line. Think about this. Okay. And at the same time, that line would be making an angle of 30 degrees with the vertical plane. That means 30 degrees with the XY line from the top view. Okay. So we'll now go ahead and divide this entire solution of this problem into three different phases. Now in phase one, I'm going to tell you about how the object has been positioned with reference to HP and VP. Okay. And in phase two, I'll tell you how the cutting plane has been positioned. Okay. This auxiliary vertical plane that I've spoke of and in final step or in the final phase, we'll draw. All right. So let's see how everything unfolds. Here we go. So guys, this is the hexagonal pyramid that I'm talking about. And when you try to keep it with its base, this base on the horizontal plane, okay, something like this, the true shape of this base can only be seen from the top. All right. What else? There is one more condition that should reflect perfectly in our drawing that says that one of its base edges, let's say this one, we need to keep one base edge parallel to the XY line or parallel to the vertical plane. And it's going to be looking something like this. You can see this base edge parallel to this vertical plane in the form of a screen of this laptop. All right. So initially what we're going to do, we're going to keep it resting on HP, making sure that one base edge is parallel to this vertical plane. And in this position, we're going to create its top view. And then after the top view is done, we're going to create its front view. All right. Let's go ahead and see how all of this can be done. Okay, guys, now we're going to see how the cutting plane behaves. So this is going to be phase two. And uh, this is the object under consideration. And this is the yellow colored uh, plane that you see. This is what you call the cutting plane. Now, let us have a look at this entire scenario from the top. So this is how it looks. Below this point, we have the axis, in fact. And so we have been given the option that uh, the cutting plane lies at a distance of seven millimeters from the axis. So that distance could be behind the axis or it could either be in front of the axis. So let us for now say that the point is in front of the axis. Then the cutting plane should be posi positioned in such a manner this way. Yeah. So this distance I'm talking about, this is seven millimeters and this angle that you see is 30 degrees. All right. And this is exactly how the top view would look. All right. So this is the cutting plane, which appears apparently as a line from the top. Okay. And this is how this entire scenario would look from the front. All right. Let's, uh, get down with the top view once again. And if you want to have the true shape of this, you have to look at this object from over here. And this is exactly what you're going to see. All right. So we'll now go ahead and do all of this stuff in phase three, where we'll be making the top view, where we'll be making the sectional front view and true shape of the section. So let's see how all of that works out. Let's have the XY line. And as I've already told that this hexagonal pyramid is 
is resting with its base on HP, then the true shape of the base can only be seen from the top. And hence, we have to begin by making the top view first. So this is how we need to do this. Okay, this edge has been kept parallel to this XY line, which means that one of its edges is parallel to the VP. All right, let's name them. There you go. Now we're gonna have to make the front view. And for that, I have to extend projector lines from all of these points, six points in fact, and also the center. Now we're gonna go upstairs by an amount of 57 millimeters since this height or the axis length has been given as 57 millimeters okay so this one point is one dash this two and six two dash comma six dash and so on okay so that's the apex o dash and now let's join all the points at the bottom with this apex fine let's move ahead now guys uh, you can see that there is this cutting plane over here as i've already shown you in this that solidworks software um in front of the axis this is seven millimeters from here to here okay and through this point you're gonna have a cutting plane at an angle of 30 degrees with the vertical plane something like this done okay so here is the cutting plane making an angle of 30 degrees all okay so what's next the cutting plane in fact is intersecting this entire solid at certain points so starting from here let's say this is point a base edge 1 2 has been cut at point a then this slant edge o2 has been cut at point b this slant edge o3 has been cut at point c slant edge o4 has been cut at point d and this base edge again 5 4 has been cut at point e something like this all right so all of these cutting points are going to have their impact on the front view also like this 1 2 base edge this is the 1 dash 2 dash base edge in the front so it's going to have a point here somewhere here let me show you this is going to be point A dash. All right. So this B point lies along this slant edge O2. So this is slant edge O dash 2 dash in the front. So B point is going to exactly lie here. B dash. This is C somewhere along O3. So somewhere along O dash 3 dash. This point C is going to have its front view here. Similarly, we have D along O dash 4 dash O4. There you go. This is point D. And finally, Somewhere along this base edge, 5, 4 base edge, 5 dash, 4 dash in the front, you're going to have this point E dash. And when you join all of these points in sequence with the help of lines, you're going to have this. This is what you call the sectional front view. Okay. Now the portion remaining has to be darkened like C 2 O is dark. So C dash to O dash has to be darkened. B 2 O is dark. B dash O dash has to be darkened. 1 2 O. 1 2 a 1 2 a has to be darkened 1 2 o has to be darkened like this all right it should look something like this so basically this is what you call the sectional front view this over here represents this top view now we'll go ahead and make the true shape of the section so how can that be done here we go so in order to have the true shape of the section we have to look at this entire scenario from over here okay like this and we have this uh, auxiliary plane onto which its image is going to be obtained so this is x1 y1 and let's have perpendicular lines drawn from all these five intersecting points from a b c d and e something like this all right all uh, the angle which it's going to make over here is 90 degrees now we'll go ahead and mark this point a distances have to be taken from x y line and have to be put up with reference to x1 y1 let's say we want to put up point a so the distance of point a from this x y line is zero and hence uh, a point will be here this is going to be point a that's it but the distance of point b from x y line this is the distance so keep one leg of your compass here other leg over here with that much amount as the radii then we're going to come downstairs and here with this guy as the center i'll put an arc and that's going to be point b similarly keep one leg of your compass here other leg over here that is at x y and somewhere along this line with this guy as center put an arc that's point c again with keep one leg over here other leg over here and with this guy as center put an arc that's point t and point e lies exactly on this x y line so you don't have to do anything it's going to lie on this x1 y1 line also okay and when you join all these points you're going to have this true shape of the section so here we have sectional front view top view and true shape of the section of a hexagonal pyramid which has been cut by an auxiliary vertical plane at an angle of 30 degrees with the VP okay 
So guys, that was all from my side. If you have any doubts or queries, do write them down in the comment section below. And if you find this video helpful, then do give it a big thumbs up. And if you guys believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering drawing or engineering graphics, do recommend this channel to your friends and classmates so that all of you can learn engineering drawing in the best possible way. I'll be taking up some more problems in this week. Until then, it's a wrap for today. This is Manas Patnayak signing off. Take care. Have a great day and keep drawing.